We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Hey, Zoo. 54, South. Go, go, go. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Kyle Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Jackson, options out left. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second and a yard. Jackson. This will be caught just inside the 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. From the 31, Ryan into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, Charles, if you think so far the early part of the preseason, who has stood out? If you take a peek back at the draft, it really the first round it was pretty defensively minded, but there were three quarterbacks taken, Kyler Murray first, Daniel Jones sixth, Dwayne Haskins 15th. Of those guys, they've looked pretty good. I agree with you, Brandon. When you talk about those three quarterbacks, and you're right, the rest of the draft, we're talking about big linemen, right? We're talking about defensive players, not a lot of skill players in the first round, but let's take the quarterbacks very quickly. Kyler Murray, by acclamation, went to Arizona. Everyone excited about it, and I think his team remains excited. And this is caught inside the five, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, as the first half is winding down, as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Tucker now for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Makes the score, Ravens 42, Falcons nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, 
You're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. But it'll be second down from the 24. They'll go again on second and 10. 40's Mike, wait! We got to get the ball, Z, get the ball right here, let's go! Check 9, check 11! Switch it, switch it, switch it, come on, switch it! Hey, exit! Check, check! 40's Mike, 40's a Mike, 40's a Mike! Hey, here we go! Check 13, check 13! Watch that, watch that, watch that! Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday! 40, Mike, ready for that? Throwing again, Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout. They can sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So the sack pushes him back. And now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Gun, gun, gun. Hey, orbit. All right. Here we go. Let's go, D. Let's go. Gun, gun. Kill, kill, kill. Final play of the half, it's Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. But gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Third quarter starts with a run by Freeman. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Pernell McPhee in there on the stop. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Hey, here we go. Watch the, watch the pass. Watch the pass. On third down, Ryan. And that will be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Results in a fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going check for it on four. 51, sub! Check, check! Hey, sub! I got him, I got him. He's mine, he's mine, he's mine. Ford is the mine. Squeeze! Let him go! They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Then he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. That's Ingram. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be a second down. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard, and you probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll buy some time right. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Mark Ingram there. That'll bring up second down. 
Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. Didn't work there. There he goes, left side. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Marquise Brown, 28 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here. In